I can tell her my loins are full of poison acid. Suck it out. Is that what he was talking about? The poison earlier? Um. Pardon me. What are you talking about? <laughs> but with a build like this, he'd be better off playing a team, uh, playing on a team instead of managing it. And then, then it takes me straight back to your balls, bro. I did not want to see this. Yo, what's good on the block? It is Talk. Welcome back to another Dive on Alpha 2 video. I don't know if you guys watched the first episode. Um, it was like the first half of the prologue. I had to cut it in half because I had some stuff going on. I'm sorry about that. But today we are posting the rest of the prologue. God, let's get it. So we gotta talk to we gotta talk to every every other character, bro. What about exploring the island? If he's a uh, map has been in, installed onto the handbook. If you use this, you should be able to find everywhere easily. We have the rocket punch market. So this is a supermarket, it's pretty big. If we're on a tropical island, does that mean we're in international waters? You're right. Thanks to this place, we won't need to worry about food and any other, any other necessities for a while. For a while, this is a figure of speech, but there's no guarantee anything here is edible. Uh, what if all this stuff is poison? What? Hmm, you certainly are a skeptical type. Of course I am, even if the supermarket is strange. Look around, we're in a gigantic supermarket and there's nobody else here except mm -hmm. us. But that can't be helped. Dude, Islam, you say, didn't the Islamic say this island was uninhabited? That's exactly my point. What happened? What happened? It's nothing. Okay, okay. She's staring at me funny. Uh, um, um, you know, I'm sorry. Why is she crying? Hajime. Bullying a girl, not cool, Hajime. I didn't do anything. <laughs> ah, so your name is Hajime. If it's okay with you, may I please remember your name? Of course, I don't mind you remembering it, but... My name is Mikan Sumiki. From the, from the bottom of my heart, I hope we can get along. Okay, M Mikan. Mikan Sumiki. She cute. Ultimate Neris. Okay, that's good. That's good to have, bro, because if we get body, bro, like... <laughs> um, you know... Um, um, my mind is drawing a blank from nervousness. I went through all the trouble of preparing 5,000 different topics to discuss after introductions. That seems excessive. <laughs> it's okay if you want to take your time and remember slowly. <laughs> well, we'll wait as long as it takes. Also, sorry if I'm like reading all sluggish, bro. I, I'm not gonna lie. We'll wait for you forever if that's what it takes. Huh? Isn't he just putting more pressure on her? Well, I guess I'll ask you since I won't get anywhere asking her. So, what's her deal? Um, because the ultimate nurse. If you ever get injured, you'll need her help. So it's best if you got a wound with her now. If you get wounded and don't treat it, there's no, a good possibility you'll get an infection and die. Don't say something so morbid so naturally. Huh, I'm sorry for laughing so suddenly. It's just, I can't help it. I'm just so happy. I can't remember the last time I made any friends. Uh, not that you actually want you want to be friends with me. I'm so I'm so sorry. I said something so presumptuous. I'll do anything you say. Just please don't hate me. Man. Bullying a girl, not cool, Hajime. Seriously, why does this keep happening? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, okay. And then we got old girl over here. I like her. I like her design, bro. Oh hi. Who are you? Um, I'm Hajime Hinata. Hello, your tension is super low. Are you feeling all right? Oh, oh that's right. Introductions are a go-go. Buki, Mio, Da. Put it together and what do you get? Ibuki, Mio, Da. Ibuki, okay. Okay, Ibuki. Ultimate musician. I like Ibuki's design, bro. I love her design, bro. I need a, I need a Ibuki sticker, bro. I need a Ibuki poster, bro. <laughs> All right, introductions are finished. More importantly, check out the Bombastic Supermarket. I see. I they got see. hamburger, ramen noodles, chili beans, bratwurst, pasta, oh, melons. No Americans, Chinese, Mexicans, Germans, Italians, and even people from Yubari would shop here. Yahoo! Man, I'm getting hella stoked. I'm 31, I'm 31 flavors of stoked for all the deliciousness. <laughs> and when I'm excited, I get hungry monger. I don't understand it myself. Why do I get hungry when I'm excited? Why do I get excited when I'm hungry? <laughs> the um, the human body sure is a mystery. Um, this energetic young lady is known as the ultimate musician. She used to play guitar in, in all in an all girl band that was super popular with the high school girls. Apparently, their hit single "After School Poyayan Hour" sold over a million copies. A super popular girl, right? High school band. Due to creative differences, she left behind. Uh, I guess she left the thing accidentally clicked. 
creative differences. Oh my Are you interested? Whoa, you can hear me? <laughs> Duh, Ibuki's a musician after Get all. Like, uh, Skewer, Bach, Edison, Von Gogh, Perez, and I forgot to read that, bro. Oh, so you said you have good hearing. Wait, most of these people you mentioned weren't musicians at all. <laughs> Don't sweat the details. You know, music is just another form of artistry, bro. It's just another form of artistry, bro. Mono Mall. Looks like a vending machine, but it doesn't say money. I have to use some type of coin. That is definitely, that is a Monokuma vending machine, bro. Wow, this is a pretty nice hotel. Perhaps. Uh, the Hotel Mirai, huh? It looks like it's named after, uh, for the Japanese word of future. <laughs> when we are told to live on this island, I was worried we'd have to pitch a tent or something. If we can live in a grand hotel like this, I don't think we'll have a worry about being comfortable. Comfort isn't an option here. We don't even know why we're being forced to live on this island. How can you just accept this? You're way too excited about living here. <laughs> Well, it seems obvious that this area would make a good base. So why don't we look around for a bit? Why is this guy so calm? It's like he doesn't think the situation is a big deal at all. Has he been through a lot of trauma or something? Yeah, bro. Was he, bro, why do you have a fucking bulge, bro? They did not have to add that detail. That's right. You haven't told me your name. My name. The ultimate team manager, Nekomaru Nidai. Okay, Nekomaru. Okay. Ultimate team manager. I don't know what that means, but you know. <laughs> um, hello, I'm Hajime Hinata. Hinata. Hold it right there. Your voice is too soft. Let your voice rise from the bottom of your stomach. Um, I'm Hajime Hinata. Or uh, Hinata. My bad, bro. No, you can be louder than that. Do it again. My name is Hajime Hinata. Please to make your acquaintance. Don't forget it. Even if you go to hell, I'm the ultimate team manager, Nekomaru Nita. Why are you mad, bro? Calm down. You don't need to repeat your name so much. I won't forget it. <laughs> I agree to your terms. He sure is boisterous. It's not just his voice. His whole body seems yep. loud. He's the ultimate team manager. The ultimate team manager. He's not on a team, so he just manages one. Nope. He's not just a team manager after all. He's a he's an ultimate. He's traveled to numerous towns and played an active role in various sports clubs managing their teams. For instance, he led some high school rugby team full of delinquents to a victory in the national playoffs. He also rescued a baseball club on the average. Oh my gosh. He, he also rescued a baseball club on the verge of being shut down and led them to a national victory as well. Rumor has it, he's even training that famous Japanese pitcher who plays in American League. If that's true, he totally deserves uh, to be called the ultimate team manager. He's, is he Was he talking about Leon? Is that Leon? What, is he training Leon, bro? <laughs> but with a build like this, he'd be better off playing, a team, uh, playing on a team instead of managing it. And then, then it takes me straight back to your balls, bro. I did not want to see this. Who the hell are you? Don't talk all friendly and shit to me, dumbass. Bro, I ought to smack you in your mouth, bro. This guy is already in a crappy mood. You. What are you looking at? You got something you want to say, bastard? Now, now. Relax, uh, Fiyohiko. I don't even know how to say that, bro. We're only here to introduce ourselves. Huh? What? Introduce hey. yourselves? See, you haven't probably introduced to, uh, to... Oh, my gosh, bro. See, you haven't probably been possibly introduced to each other, right? Hmm. Name's Furuhiko Kuzuryu. Just so we're clear, I don't plan to act friendly and shit with you guys. Furuhiko Kuzuryu. I'm gonna just start calling you Fuyu, bro, because your name is long as shit. And I, you know, Ultimate Yakuza, that's why you out here cussing, bro. I ought to smack you, bro. Even though he's got a baby face, he's incredibly rude. Uh, Fuyu is a high school student. And the uh, heir, heir to the uh, Kuzuryu clan. The Kuzuryu clan, don't tell me he's a... Uh, I'm sure you at least heard of them before, right? Kuzuryu, Kuzuryu clan is the largest criminal syndicate in the nation, with a membership surpassing 30,000. Which means he's the ultimate Yakuza. The heir to the Yakuza clan, and it's the Kuzuryu clan, no less. Actually... By the way, mentioning his baby face around him is especially forbidden, so you better be careful. Run out of fingers before he's done with you. 
That was close. I nearly lost all of my fingers. Now I can tell you're like my savior or something. Huh, you're just exaggerating. Uh, uh, I guess hey, not. Bastard. Uh -uh. Hey, bastards. If we're all done here, how about you dumbasses make it look uh, make like a tree and fuck off? What? Hey, aren't you the guy who's been squatting on a beach, who was squatting on a beach earlier, bearing your face in, in your arms? Oh, uh, yeah. You are a boy, right? Hey, you gotta keep it together, you know. At times like this, it's the boy's job to keep the girls safe. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Did you want me to introduce myself? I haven't done it yet, right? Let's see. Let's see. I'm Mahiru Koizumi. I'll be counting on you from now on. Mahiru, okay. Okay. I like her with the sh short hair. With the red short hair. What? Ooh, she cute. She cute. Ultimate photography. Yeah, she cute, bro. Actually. She's the ultimate photographer. She has a promising future of, uh, as a photojournalist. I'm not an expert on photography, but I hear she's a yo. Oh my gosh, bro! <laughs> what the? What was that? I'm not an expert on photography, but I hear she's a young photographer who has won numerous awards. On that note, she's known for her skill at taking pictures of people. Honestly, I'm a little relieved. You guys seem decent enough. Hmm, decent. Well, there's a lot of weirdos here. I can't, I can't tell if they're really ultimates or just like insane. I'm eager to get along with everyone so we can get off on off of this island. But I was worried things wouldn't go well. Get off this island? What do you mean? Huh? Oh, you don't know? That that's what that stuffed animal Asami was saying. After you finish collecting the hope fragments that you earn by getting along with everyone, this joke of a school trip will be over and we can all leave the island together. That's all we have to do. We can go home. Is that true? Did she really mean that? Hey, you should you should be paying closer attention. This is like really important. Well, Hajime, not now that you know this, you must feel a little relieved, right? As long as we live here peacefully, we'll be able to leave this island soon enough. Osami Corral. This looks like a ranch. Though there aren't many animals around. Oh, you found out. You again, seriously, where do you keep appearing from? I can show up anywhere, anytime. The system allows me to appear anywhere, anytime. Uh -uh. It's all thanks to this handy dandy magic stick. Magic stick, huh? Is she talking about that toy that she's holding? Um, still, I'm quite troubled. A ranch without any moo cows is like a soccer team without any balls. You might want to rephrase that. Alrighty, just leave it to me and my handy dandy magic stick. That's a, that's a chicken. Okay, that's a chicken. Okay, okay. Doing magic, bro. Turn into a moo cow, bro. What is a moo cow? It's just a cow? Okay. What? Oh, hold on, for huge success. What was all that just now? A chicken changed into a cow? Nah, it's probably some sort of trick or illusion. I better have set up before we got here. It's probably trying to make us happy. A trick? Well, if you think it rationally, it makes sense. Chicken can't change into a cow. Yeah, bro, she was on some other stuff, bro. Is that old girl? You know what, bro? I'm gonna save her for last, bro. Let's talk to uh, let's talk to um Lumis Blondie right here. Squish squish. What's this kid doing? She's sitting down. She keeps pressing her finger into the floor with all her strength. Are you okay? I haven't introduced myself, right? My name is Hajime Hinita. Hmm? Yoko, okay. The ultimate traditional dancer. Okay, she been like doing these, bro. <laughs> she be going crazy. Uh, she just stopped pressing her finger into the floor. She has to stop pressing her finger to the floor. What is she doing? Her appearance and voice is so young. Actually, Kyoko's talent has made her known as the ultimate traditional dancer. As a rookie, the Japanese dance industry expects a lot from her. She's already performed overseas many times. It seems her performances are popular among young audiences, which is rare in the Japanese dance industry. Well, then again, her fans are mostly men. Whoa. I'm not going to say nothing about that, bro. What are you doing? I'm squishing. Squishing what? I'm squishing lots of Mr. Ants. Come again? Hey, if you squish your tummies just right, it makes an awesome sound. Want to do it together? Hell no. Okay. You wuss. What? <laughs> Look at her face. Hey, that's funny, bro. This kid, her attitude doesn't match her appearance at all. 
It's nice to finally meet you. I'm Hajime Hinata. Gotcha. Who's this other dude? What? Huh, we haven't haven't we met already? Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I pretty much stuck to remembering names. I haven't met any interesting characters today. I'm Nagito Kamada. Uh, Kam I don't even know how to say her last name, bro. If you can please don't forget my name again. Yo, the name Yo. is Akane Owari. Nice to meet ya. What's up, Akane? So like, you know, I see you on a farm, bro. You might be here. You must be here for a reason, like. Oh, I got some, bro. Why is all the all the athletic ones got fat well, fat watermelons, bro? <laughs> Akane is an ultimate gym gymnast. She's an all-around super athlete. Rumor has it she's a wild troublemaker, but her athletic ability is off the charts. However, her basics and fundamentals are all over the place. So her gymnastic routines are mostly improvised. If she's in her groove, she performs splendidly, but if she's not, she loses interest and switches it up. How self-centered. No matter how you cut it, she definitely sounds like a troublemaker. Even so, she's called the ultimate gymnast for a reason. I can't visualize her as a normal high school student. I mean, she's got the physique of an Olympic athlete. Huh, don't tell me you. I get it. You have a thing for sexy bodies, huh? They're being really loud. I know you're doing that on purpose. Port. I don't even know we had an airport, bro. This is the airport, right? So those things over there must be airplanes. Yes, sir. Can we use the planes to escape this island? No, nah, that's impossible. If they were damaged, I could fix them. But it looks like these planes are just for show. Just for show. Yeah. The engines have been completely removed. Nothing I can do about that. Completely removed? Whoever bought us to this island must have also done that, right? Same person who's controlling the stuffed animal with Sami. But who is doing this? Why did they bring us to this island in the first place? The more I think about it, less makes sense. That's right. Oh yeah, that reminds me. You, me and you haven't met, have we? Name's Kazuichi Soda. I'm the ultimate mechanic. Okay, nice Soda. Look, I'm gonna just start calling you Soda, bro. What's good, Soda? <laughs> ultimate mechanic. What's good, Soda? <laughs> As expected, with someone called an ultimate mechanic, um, uh, Kazuichi is is a Kazuichi is a saving when it comes to fixing machines. If he says it's impossible to fix the plane, it's truly beyond repair. Even so, to technically remove the engine, whoever's keeping us here must have planned to do this to a T. You think so too, huh? Does, uh, doesn't that seem pretty strange to you? That was close. Yeah, it's pretty strange, but I think it's pretty strange, but I think it's an acceptable level of strange, you know? Huh? I mean... Well, think about it. It's not like we're being forced to do something dangerous or anything. Uh... That was mentioned as safety pre uh, precautions for the school trip. Okay, yeah, I remember that. Rule one: Extreme violence is prohibited. Rule two: Be considerate of each other. Rule three: Litter is not allowed. Rule four: Lead the teacher. The lead teacher cannot directly interfere with the students. Okay. For now. It looks like we're being kept safe. There's nothing too dangerous on this island. Spending these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope. Just as Usami said earlier, it seems the rules are for our, the better of us. Are you saying you believe uh, what that what that thing told us? But don't be such a pessimist. You should look at this situation with a bit more hope. Optimism is essential. That's right. I guess it's okay if you enjoy our vacation, right? <laughs> yeah, if you stare closely at the strange-looking bunny girl, she might start looking pretty cute. What? I'm actually jealous how carefree, bro. Bro, bro is a furry, bro. I like the fit though. I'm not gonna lie. Stop right there. If you value your life, don't come any closer. Huh? I said stay back. Very well. I should accept your courage of yours. What's this guy talking about? <laughs> Would you like to know my name? Um, others may see your courage as recklessness. However, I welcome Listen it. Listen well. In honor of your courage, I shall reveal to you my name. You may call me Gundam Tanaka. Gundam? Remember it well. For it is the name that will one day rule this world. Bro, I think he an anime character, bro. Your name is Gundam, bro. If you don't sit down. <laughs> Ultimate Breeder? What does that mean? Rule this world? He's kidding, right? Is he actually serious? Let me ask. Now then, the turn to ask questions. Who, uh, whose master are you? Huh? No! Which tribe did you make your pact with? Answer me. 
So what do you mean pack? Answer me now. Did I, I did I best? Uh, oh my God, bro, whatever. I think he's asking if you used to have a pet. A pet? No, the only male I'm taking care of was a hermit crab. We passed around an elementary school. So a mere insect? Your magic essence cap, uh, caps at a lonely five trash. Trash, really? Huh, it's, it, what's wrong calling trash, trash? Trash like you should not dare to speak to one as grand as me. Who do you think I am? Who do you think I am? I'm the great powerful Gundam Tanaka, the supreme overload of ice. Hold on a minute. Something strange just came out of your scarf. Bro, he has a bunch of hamsters. This is the Tanaka Taming Empire. evil by using myself as a bed, truly. What? You're letting hamsters smash on you, bro? <laughs> I'm... I, I what? <laughs> I know he seems a little odd, but apparently he did sp he did splendidly as a member at a breeding club. I've heard I've heard he could tame any animal and even managed to succeed at proliferating an endangered species. Rumor has it he can speak to animals. Well, that's probably just a joke. Speak with animals? Well, he's certainly uh, eccentric enough in that regard. I mean, there's no way a normal person can attempt to raise hamsters inside their own scarf. I'm glad. Yeah, even aside, this place looks grand, too. If it was really a normal school trip, I'd be smiling by now. But why are we the only ones in this hotel? It's not a habit of island. I can't, it can't be helped. <clears throat> For now, I have an island. This hotel looks pretty well kept. All right, bro. Okay, we, we still got two baddies in here, too. Um, I ain't gonna lie. She look, she look, she look kind of fine, bro. She Thank talked to me know. earlier, bro. And it's like, yo, stay to your business. Uh, I'm here to introduce myself. That's okay with you. Introduction. Understood. Understood. I don't mind. I'm Hajime Hina. Nice, nice to meet you. My name is Peko Peko Yama. Peko Peko. Nice to meet you too. What's good, Peko? Ultimate Swordsman? Oh, yeah. You about to go crazy. This dignified looking woman is known as Ultimate Swordsman. It's hard to believe someone with a cute name like Peko Peko Yama can be so skilled with a bleed. I've heard she's a Kindle master that most adult men don't even stand a chance against her. Well, there's definitely something up with her. Her eyes are really intense. It appears. If, if what a rabbit, if what that rabbit said is true, we are expected to live together on this island. Yeah, you're right. It is necessary for men and women who, who live together to respect each other. Don't try anything inappropriate. I would prefer not to kill anyone. Hey, yo, don't worry, bro. You look good, but I'm not going after you, bro. Kill, isn't that a sword on your back made of bamboo? Um, though it may seem impossible to kill someone with this, um, a miss aim blow can be fatal. Well, aim blow can be fatal too. I'll keep that in mind. Okay, and then who, who, who is this? Who is this over here? There's some girl playing an arcade game. She was completely absorbed by it. What you, what you playing, Pokemon? I mean, I can probably introduce you to her either, right? Yeah, you're right. She seems really focused on her game. Guess I should talk to her. Um, excuse me. I like to introduce myself. Hey! Hey, Chiaki. <laughs> oh, sorry. I must have been a little too focused on my game. A little? Are you sure about that? Mm -hmm. Let's see. All oh, right. Introductions. Got it. I'm Chiaki Nanami, the ultimate gamer. Video games are my hobby, and I'm a fan of all genres. Okay. Okay. What's your favorite, though? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What's your favorite? What's your favorite video game, girl? Chiaki. I'm Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you. Yep. Nice to meet you. Yeah, totally. It seems like this conversation is is going rather slow. Well, she's gaming right now. Wow. I'm, it's more like I'm the kind of person who has uh, had to gather my thoughts before I can start talking. Like I can't talk that well unless I've already prepared everything I want to say in my head. Especially when I'm meeting new people. Well, if I get used to them, I can usually talk a little faster. She's still focused on her game, and she hasn't looked at me at all. She may be the ultimate gamer, but how can she play video games at a time like this? Yeah, I'm, sleepy. I'm sleepy. Bro, you got all that drool. If you don't wipe your mouth off. So this is the hotel restaurant. Amazing. It's enormous. Uh, we could easily hold a banquet here. Even if we're stuck on this island? Are we really stuck here? What else could it be? Sorry. 
Oh, well, let's finish introducing ourselves first. Two people over there are talking. That's right, I'm having a hard time because it's full of poison. It really sucks. Speaking of which, it'd be great if you could use your mouth to suck it out. Um. Poison, I see. Hey, do you guys have a moment? Huh? Whoa, denied. Denied? Okay. Well, hello, it's nice to meet you. Hello, my name is Hajime Haneda, nice to meet you too. Well, no, no, you must be the new my guy. My name is Teru Teru Hanamura. On the streets, I'm known as the ultimate cook. Teru Teru, okay. But could you guys call me the ultimate chef instead? It has more of a big city flavor to it, you know? Okay, bro. What's your, what's your big blubber body butt? Oh, well. That reminds me, I've not probably introduced myself either. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting. My name is Sonia Nevermind. Sonia Nevermind? Ultimate Princess? Is that really your last name? No, bro. They were like, what's her name? Sonia. Oh, never mind, bro. <laughs> I'm a foreign exchange student from a small European kingdom called Novel. Nove I don't even know how to say that, bro. I may cause trouble here and there, but I hope we can get along. Bro. Same here. I hope we can get along, too. White porcelain skin, sparkling blue eyes, and her hair glitters like fields of wheat. Are you enchanted? Well, that probably can't be helped. She's not an ultimate princess, which means she's actually royalty. Ultimate princess? Normally, I'd be surprised to hear that, but it's not just her beauty. She's so graceful. I'm completely at ease, even though she's a real, even though she's a real princess. Um, this may be rude of me to say, but truthfully, I feel happy. What are you happy about? In my home country, I don't have a single friend. My age who is standing in society matched my own. Hey, you am I being left on a menu or something? No, that's not it. <laughs> oh, Terato, it's like you, it's not, it's so like you to check out the restaurant first. As an ultimate chef, don't you like it? Do you like it? I would be lying if I said I wasn't interested. And since I do not want to be a liar, then truthfully, yeah, I like it. Yeah. Guess that's about no, it. No, like in a big city flavor of my hometown, a country atmosphere like this, um, it's also splendid. Hey, are you refined culture guilty as charged? No, not that. You don't seem very worried, huh? What's the worry about? Actually, I'm really happy. Happy? Why is that? If I can get serious real quick, real quick, I have, to, I have a sneaking suspicion that Miss Pico is actually a bit of a freak if you catch my meaning. What do you think? What? She's probably wearing a black thong, too. Whoa. Bro, so when we walked up early, he talked he talked about some yeah, can you suck it out for me, bro? I know you ain't trying to trying to get her to suck your meat, bro. That is that is that is nuts. <laughs> like, bro, you <laughs> that is crazy. Now then, shall we discuss this somewhere privately? Come on, come on, come on, come on. No thanks. Well, putting that aside for now, this might also seem expected to you, but I feel like Miss Sonya over there has a good chance of putting out. You see, everybody knows princesses are groomed to lack common sense, right? For example, I can put, her, I can tell her my lions are full of poison. Oh, my loins! I can tell her my loins are full of poison after her to suck it out. Is that what he was talking about the poison earlier? Pardon me. What are you talking about? <laughs> we'll discuss this later. I better not see you try that again. Anyways, when I fantasize about stuff like that, I can't help but to look forward to living on this island. <laughs> when it comes to cooking and love, passion is the most important ingredient. This guy seems dangerous. Bro, he is a weirdo, bro. Sexual assault at his max, bro. Like, yeah, bro. But back up away from her, bro. Man, talking about some, yeah. I got some poison in my, I got poison in my meat, bro. Go ahead and suck it out for me. What the? What do you want? What do you want? This guy's presence is overwhelming. He doesn't seem to be very approachable. Even his body is overwhelming. Hey. I'll be, that is Biakia! I'll be Yaki, you have some time for a small introduction? Introduction? Come on, Hajime. Oh, well, hello, my name is Hajime Hinata. My name is Biakia Togami. That is Biakia, bro, my number one hater, bro. My number one hater, bro. Why do you keep coming back? And you fat this time, bro, so I can cook you. I can really flame you now, bro. How you even get this big? How did you get this big, bro? Back off. I can tell this guy is thumbing his nose at me. Well, I suppose that's Biakia for you. What do you mean? Actually, that guy is a particularly special. Is particularly special, even by ultimate standards. He's an excellent line of hair. His family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already begun managing the business operations, and his net worth is well enormous. It's completely accurate to call him the ultimate affluent progeny. He's the uh, epitome of exceptional. That's like 
a manga origin story. Hmm. You there, Hajime, was it? Huh? Tell me, why did Host Peak Academy choose you? What's your ultimate talent? Um, the thing is, honestly, I can't remember. What? You don't remember? Apparently, he lost his memory due to shock. He can't really remember much. Hmm, how foolish. Um, yes. I do believe... I do believe we'll finish talking. How much longer do we intend to stand there? Listen. Move along. That's the only thing you skinny types are good at. What? <laughs> so now you're fat, bro, and you over here talking shit about skinny people. What about... I want to know how you got skinny, bro. Let's just leave, Hajime. Yeah, sure thing. Um, his build and I over over Ori over front, bro. Yeah, bro. Get, get your big bubble body ass out the way, bro. I've heard that way too many times, bro. Is that school bell uh -huh. just now? How'd you make? Look at the monitor over there. Congratulations, everyone. It appears that everyone has finished collecting the hope fragments. Okay. I'm, I'm so happy. <laughs> prepared a present for everyone that'll make I apologize for the trouble I'm gonna click. but please gather at the beach all right, but... <laughs> may shining hope be with you all okay Usami what to do she said meet at the beach is it going to be okay I'm starting to have bad feeling about what? this I think it won't solve anything um thinking won't solve anything we can do that after we go to the beach is this precaution really enough to be honest, I'm really worried. What is the present you mentioned? Oh, that's right. Of course, I didn't forget. Um, love, love. This is it. Don't be upset. I prepared you. Uh, I prepared you one for you. Oh my God, bro. Don't be upset. I prepared one for you all. What is this? It's a Usami strap. If you squeeze the tummy, it talks. Ain't no way, bro. <laughs> Ain't no way, bro. Isn't it cute? Love, love. What a waste of time. Man, I got my hopes up. I'm ashamed. I even got my hopes up. Really? I think it's pretty cute. Especially how the ears on the rabbit looks. Well, Asami does mean rabbit, you know. Regardless, a large number of Asami figures, whatever, bro. As I figure, everyone received a strap. Hey, you can't take nature with trash. See, even, even you think they're trash. Usami sadly picked up the straps and looked at us with a lonely expression on her face. I even prepared one more present too, but now I don't want to give it to you bad kids. Oh, you have something else? Well, compared to the Usami strap, it's not that big of a deal. Basically, I prepare a motive for everyone. A motive? That's right, a motive for everyone to get along. Uh, we've come all this way to a tropical island, and I thought it'd be great to do something uh, island thing. <laughs> like what? What are you thinking of? Th throwing a big party or something? <laughs> Correct. Yeah. It's a festival, maybe a, a miniature sh uh, shrine. How wonderful. Anyway. Excuse me, Miss Sonia. <laughs> My lungs are still full of poison, and I appreciate it if you can suck it out with your mouth. What, bro? Wait. Knock it off, uh, Teru Teru. Right. Oh, your tenor loins? You betcha. <laughs> Just ignore him, Sonya. I got it. If you're talking about fun parties on a tropical island, maybe we should barbecue something. Ah, uh, uh, campfire sounds fun too. Let's, kill. Let's find a hoop, shake it, and kill it. You serious? Uh, is looking for one not enough for you? I see. It seems like everyone has different ideas. Well, if we're gonna be at the ocean then first. Ta -da. Ta -da, what is this all about? A swimming bag. Oh, Correct. Whoa. Whoa, that means. Ta -da. That's right, I have swimsuits for everyone. What a cool swimsuit, actually. I'll bet it's okay. Are you telling us to go swimming in a situation like this? It's not like I'm ordering you guys to swim or anything. It's just if you want to go swimming, you can. There's no way. I'm, I'm, not, I'm going swimming. There's no way anyone would be so tough as to go swimming in a situation like this. Everybody else happy, bro. That's right. Oh, that's yes, sir. Yes, sir. Agreed. Even my loins agree. See? The tender loins, I understand. Wait. Seriously, don't, don't try to understand. How long has it been since I last swam in the sea? All right, let's change. Everybody about to swim, bro. Hey. What are you gonna do, Hajime? Hajime. I understand how you feel, and I won't force you to do anything you don't want to do. <laughs> but if you feel up for it, I'd be happy if you came along too. After you said that, I get to run over to the hotel as well. There's no danger on this island. Is that you, bro? Okay, look. Am I actually wrong? Hmm. hmm. 
It got quiet, bro. Huh? Hey, you're not gonna swim, Hajime? Hmm. How can I get you to believe me? There's no way I can believe her. Huh? Are you not gonna swim? Of course I am. Why? Then why don't you go to others to change? So I don't need to change. All I gotta do is take off my clothes. No, what about your swimsuit? This is the only way I'm gonna wear something as embarrassing as a school swimsuit. She's just wrong about so many things. So let's hurry up and swim. Those words are uh, Akane, Akane quickly began taking off her. Whoa, hey, hey there. Shameful behavior like that is a no-no. If you're gonna go swim, you gotta wear a swimsuit. What a pain. What about you, blubber butt? You're not gonna swim, Byakuya? Of course not. However, don't think that makes us friends or anything. Our reasons couldn't be more different. Different reasons? You cannot accept the situation because you're nothing but a coward, right? Coward? What? That assuming thing is, assuming thing is not lying to us. Uh, you're starting to realize that, aren't you? Then why aren't you going to swim? I simply don't like ocean water, it's too salty. That's not something to boast about. Uh, speaking of which, everyone has returned. As Usami said that, I turned around and I saw a group of people wearing swimsuits jumping into the ocean and shouting with joy. Yes, sir. Hey, yo. She got the dumpy. <laughs> okay. The water is so cool. It feels great. Too salty. This water's too salty. It's not going easy on me. <laughs> hey, I got some suntan lotion from the supermarket. Would anyone like a rub down? You old weird, bro. Look at you, bro. You're built like a big toe. Oh, you're quite considerate. Now then, will you apply it right away? <laughs> Rubbing lotion on a muscular man. Yeah, bro. You you about that? You you offer? All right, no problem. My tastes are pretty open, you know. Hey, that's crazy. You seem a little too open. Like you're covering too many bases by yourself. Damn. <laughs> I'll make sure to slather you with lots and lots of oil. What is this feeling of intense bloodlust? Bro, he about to he about to put some on his bulge too. No, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Why do they give her the dumpy, bro? That is that is insane. What's this feeling of alienation? I can't really put it into words. Um, am I really wrong about all this? Fine. I'll j I just gotta do it, right? Then I'll do it. That's why right, I'll do it. Huh? Osmond, did something happen? Hey, hand me the one of those swimsuits. Jeez, I can't believe I was only worrying. Uh, I was the only one worrying. I don't care anymore. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna seriously enjoy myself and have fun. Hey, you guys! Don't forget about me. Hey, hey, wait for me. Let me join in the fun. Wait, huh? Suddenly, the sky grew cloudy. Huh? What is this? What is happening? Strange cloud. This doesn't look natural at all. Huh? Uh, what's going on? What did you do? It's obviously not right. It was sunny a few minutes ago. What is this? Huh? I didn't do anything. What is this? There's no way something like this shouldn't be happening. And at that exact moment, when it seemed like anything couldn't get any more confusing, it suddenly happened. Is... is Check. Ain't no way. Uh, 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 can you hear me? Can you hear me? Bro, Monokuma, yes, I can hear you, bro. That voice was so laid back, so gleeful, it seemed out of place. It was different than Usami's. The the storm of malice could be felt raging behind the laid back voice. The moment I felt my body, felt it, my body <laughs> shuddered. Surprise? You were totally surprised, right? Now then, sorry to keep you all waiting for so long. Let's, it's time for the main attraction. You guys better hustle over to Jabberwock Park. Could it be? Could it be? This voice? If this is, oh, very bad, I gotta do something. It's all up to me. Hey, wait. Very it seems that unusual occurrence. Uh, it's best if we go to Jabberwock Park. It, was it? Let's hurry. Hey, hey wait. Naturally. Whatever about the swimming, there's no time to wait for them to change. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. I'll head over first. Shit, just what the hell's going on? You. Where are you? Where are you hiding? Hiding? Who are you talking to? <laughs> hey, hey. 
Where are you? Show yourself. That's definitely Monokuma, bro. His nuts ass. Which means... That must mean that what's-her-name is controlling him, right? Junko? Why, hello there! Thank you all for waiting! Long time no see, guys! What's up, bro? I am Monokuma! I'm the headmaster of this academy! Yes, sir. Now that I have made my dashing appearance, the first thing I need to say is, this is so freaking lame. Lame, I say. Lame than lamest, lamest, lame sauce. Oh wait, lame sauce. Is that tasty? Just as I thought, it was you. But how? Why is Monokuma here? Monokuma? Oh, shut up. I'm livid, you know. I'm already about to barf thanks to your lukewarm attitude. Just what's this heart throbbing school trip crap anyways? I'm bored. So hopelessly bored. This just ain't fun at all. You better knock off this farce right now. You gotta make this, you know, meet the demands of the world. Nobody wants to see high school students living calm and peaceful. Bro, yeah, so they're just continuing the game. Right? But this has to be before, maybe, right? I don't know, bro. This has to be before, bro, because Biyaki, Biyaki a fat. Nobody wants to see high school students living calm and peaceful lives. What everyone wants to see is other people's misery and despair. Yeah, so they're still showing this shit on TV. What the hell is happening with this? Well, what the hell is with this stuffed animal? Nothing he says makes any damn sense. What's going on? What is this thing? Be careful, everyone. Stay back and leave this to me. I don't know why Motokuma is here, but as long as I have this magic stick. Uh, yeah, opening. <laughs> they bought you! Why are they boxing like that? <laughs> they be beating her ass! They're throwing hands, bro. No, my magic stick. What to do after my flawless victory? First of all, you're too plain. White rabbits are far too plain. So, I'm gonna make you in my image. Uh, huh? <laughs> what is he gonna do, bro? This is what happens when you defy me. I'll crunch ya. I'll... Bro, what is happening? I'll rip you apart. <laughs> Stop it! Hey, hold still. This wooden stick isn't gonna shove itself in, you know? Whoa! What? Bro, what is he doing? Ta -da! All done! Brother, he paint he painted half of her pink, bro. No. I'm not supposed to look weird like this. Change me back to normal. What's this? Uh my my defining your big brother's fashion sense. Um is Mono is Mono me a little troublemaker? Hey. Big brother, Mono me. Your current position is too wishy-washy, so I'm setting you to be my little sister Mona Me. No, it's only an external setting after all. Why do I have to uh, be your little sister? Big sister then? Uh, you want to be the older sister that got separated at birth? No, that doesn't really feel right. Yep, you're definitely more like a little sister. So that's how it's going to be. Mona Me, from now on, if you ever disobey me, I will never forgive you. How? Even even the display even the display changed the mode of me. I won't forgive you. Hey, I won't let you make up your own settings. Dang, bro! Stupid fool! Do you think you can win against me? Oh my gosh! No. It hurts a lot when you punch me. <laughs> How about that? Now you've learned your lesson. What is this? Living stuffed animals fighting each other? Oh, this is really insane. <laughs> If only I still had a magic stick, I could have beaten that off of Monokuma. <laughs> it's your fault for leaving yourself open. Even a second opening, uh, a second opening is life-threatening in the battlefield. Hey, hey. hey, what's with this stupid performance? Huh? Who freaking knows? Mm. But it's obvious something bad has happened. Huh? What? What is this? What's going on? Huh? huh? Now she's all weird-looking. Weird-looking? She matches me now. 
You, you, she matches me now, you know? How sensitive. The There's heck? more of them? What did you say? What does this mean? What is the black and, black and white to the world? What? I'm not a tanuki. I'm a bear. What's going on? I don't understand. I don't understand it myself, but a new stuffed animal up here. I mean... Why is that stuffed animal even talking? Seriously, I'm not a stuffed animal. I'm Monokuma, the headmaster of Hoshi Academy. Monokuma? Did you say the headmaster? Anyway. Regardless, it appears everyone has gathered. Now then, as a headmaster, I should make a formal declaration. From this point on, from this point forward, this killing school trip will now commence. Killing school trip? A school trip where everyone gets along has no stimulation at all. It's too damn boring. Now, nobody wants to play a game like that. You guys agree with me, right? So, waiting. let's begin our killing school trip. Not you, you guys were, are the contestants. Killing contestants? What are you saying? I will absolutely, positively not allow so, such bloody events. Damn! He beat your ass. <laughs> Such a dumb child. Jeez, your brain is tiny. Your brain is tiny more than me. How many times do I have to tell you? Pay attention this time. Except in manga, a little sister is never smarter than her big brother. <laughs> now explain. then, off topic for a while. So let's get let's get back to the explanation of the killing school trip. <laughs> what do you mean killing school trip? Is it obvious? You guys are gonna kill each other. Well, kill each other. Are you kidding? Kill each other. Oh, no what are you saying? Well, I don't think it's kind of, I don't, you think it's lame and boring that you can't leave the island unless you get all, all get along? So I'm changing the rules. If you want to get off this island, then please kill one of your friends. And then make it through a class trial without getting caught. Class trial? That's right. That's right. The class trial is the real charm of this high school. Blah! Blah, blah, you know it, bro. If one of you guys gets murdered, the surviving memories, uh, members must participate in a class trial. At that class trial, there are, there has been a shutdown between the blackened killer and the other spotless students. During the trial, you present your arguments about who you think the blackened is, and the outcome will be decided by a popular vote. Only the blackened killer would be punished, but uh, the rest may continue their school trip. However, if you shoot poorly, the one who got away with the murder will survive, and the rest of you will receive your punishment. <laughs> As for the class trial rules go, that is all there is to it. In other words, Which means if you kill someone and make it through the class trial, you get to live and leave this island. However, if you're found guilty during the class trial, then you will be punished. <laughs> it's familiar, it's a familiar but simple rule, right? What the heck? You keep repeating the word punish over and over. Hmm. Basically, it's an execution. Execution? that follows the class trial. This is one of the perks of the killing school trip. Mm. <laughs> what sort of spine jingling punishments will we see? I can't help it. I'm already getting excited. There may even Mother be some unique nuts, bro. punishments like impaling you through the head with a thingamajig claw. Hey, yo. Not the thingamajig mm. claw. Any method of killing is fine. Popular ones like bludgeoning, stabbing, whatever, poisoning, to shooting, beating, running over, burning, bombing, splashing, drowning, whatever. You, you get to choose. Please choose whatever killing method you prefer. No time limit, so you can kill as you please. It's all you can murder buffet, a theme park or murder. That's awesomely popular. That's what this school, this this killing school trip is all about. I clutch my chest without even realizing it. With each beat of my heart, a sharp stabbing pain coursed through my body. I didn't understand uh, what was happening to me. Damn it. Don't fuck with me. That's right. That's right. Poor enough would kill someone. No way. I'm not ordering anyone to kill. Whether whether or not you kill someone is entirely up no, to you. No. But be careful. Youth doesn't last forever. It'll be too late until you guys, uh, your four, well, I can't even read, bro. I won't believe. I won't believe. I don't believe any of this. What's going on? What if nobody ever gets murdered? Who knows? Who knows? Anyway. Anyways. I like for all you to uh, go through with this killing school trip in a healthy and positive manner. What's going on? Well, just wait a minute. What's this? Well, it's obvious. There's a reason you all need to kill each other. Huh? Hold on. Hold on. You've been running your mouth for quite some time now. I don't want to get violent, but if I do, I have no idea what might happen. I'm going to do it. What? A fight? Do I need to beat the crap out of that black and white bear? Let's go. Uh, who would, who would, who would dare try to kill? I'll put a stop to it. 
If you keep saying stupid stuff, the athletes in your in your in our group are gonna lose their patience. Uh, is that so? Well, I guess it's expecting this reaction. If you guys want to do things about force, I have to fight back with a will force of my own. Force, what are you gonna do, Surge? Oh gods, go between the light and darkness. Come forth, mana beasts. Whoa. Hey, yo. But he got mechs? What is that? I've seen lots of strange surprising things since the first round of this island. But still, the phenomenon taking place right in front of me is blatantly out of this world. Huh? Why did the statue move? That's not a statue. There's mono beast. Monster. No, I just said they're mono beast. Strange thing about the genuine surprise when it happens, bro. I was forced to accept that the sudden appearance of a monster might be a, be a normal in anime and video games. This is precisely why I can't grasp the reality of the situation. No. no, this can't be. This is just too weird. Don't tell me. Am I having a nightmare or something? <laughs> a nightmare, he says. He just admitted to his brain is a total fire patch. Jeez, you guys sure are skeptical once. If something doesn't fit within your narrow uh, notions of common sense, you just deny it right out. How stupid. I don't like this. Classifying events according to their genre is a disease. Everyone. everyone, please stay back. I will protect everyone. Even at the cost of my own life, I will protect everyone. Huh, what is this? Oh, I know. This is nausea. Let's go! It's punishment time! Alright then, it's decided. You'll be my example to everyone. But is he really about to is he really about to fold her bro? Not Usami. Not Mona me. Usami Mona, whatever her name is, bro. Ain't no way, bro. Oh, off rip. Ooh, he got nicked by one of the bullets, bro. Dang. Dang! What? What was that? It's the only, it's only the first stage, and the enemy is already dead. What? Is that a demon, or perhaps it's a weapon from the future? Let it be some dreadful weapons of destruction. The sudden appearance of a monster. Even the lifetime of the monster appears, not a single one is trying to run away. That's right. This is what I wanted. This feeling of despair. Give me, ex uh, give me an example. Was totally right. right call. We were powerless. No different than an ants washed away in a storm. Well now. Now then, I believe I made my point. Just so we're clear, you guys can't defy me. If you don't want to end up as fish food. You better not disobey me! Oh. Just so you know, I don't feel mercy or sympathy. Cause I'm a bear after all! And excuse yeah, we me, know you nuts, bro. I'm not high off this tropical atmosphere. Won't work on me at all! Hmm. Also, in addition to the Killing School trip, I've already updated the e-handbook. The rules of the Killing School trip are written, so you better read them through. <laughs> In to the rules, no excuse. Now then, enjoy the remainder of his literary high school trip. After he said his piece, Monokuma and his mother beast vanished before our eyes. In truth, I was horribly tired. Everything was so unreasonable. I didn't even care if, was, uh, if this was the aftermath. Everyone else looked the same. We all had a tired expression on our pale faces. What just happened? Um, I won't believe it. I won't believe it. It'd be one thing if we were up against a human. What the hell? We can't even do it against a monster like on? that. It's impossible. It's certainly well, possible. it's not really impossible. Those mother beasts or whatever they're called are machines. Those Monokuma must also be the same. As long as they're machines, it means someone made them and is controlling them. Then... Who can be re uh, responsible? Why are we put? Why are we putting this in an unexplainable situation? 
Hey, who is it? Who? Uh, <laughs> oh, it could be anyone. It's not like I believe it anyways. Anyway. More importantly, you guys hungry? Oh. You can eat first. No matter, no matter how confused or upset you are, I don't mind. However, remember this. I don't know who in the world is orchestrating this, but we don't need any. We don't need to be cautious of those machines or even whoever's controlling them. But in anything, we must be cautious of each other. Ourselves. Being yep. brought to a tropical island with complete strangers in order to kill each other to escape. That creates fear in our minds, and the desire to escape that hopeless fear is our worst enemy. Dang, bro. We looked around at each other. It's obvious from looking at expressions everyone was forced to admit the truth. Only a student who kills a classmate can escape this island. We may not escape the hopeless situation. We must... Yup, bro. Somebody gotta kill, bro. Even, even I'm no different. No, there's no way I, I can, we can know for sure. It is nightmare of a situation. I don't have a confidence to say it all right. Once you're suspicious of something, you start to be suspicious of everything, even yourself. That's why I felt so hopeless. Felt so hopeless. That day be uh, became a day like any other, a day which held more significant meaning. It was a special day, a very meaningful day and full of despair. That's what that was the beginning. The killing school trip had begun, and this tropical island was the stage. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the prologue, man. If you did, go ahead, cry, tap that like button, subscribe if you're new. If you're not new, please share the channel around. It'll really, really help the channel out. We are trying to hit 3K as soon as possible. So I would appreciate you guys if you guys help me reach my goal, reach our goal. Um, I'm trying to create a bigger community for us, bro. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace.